Hi everybody. Good morning from uh, Good morning from Oceana Airport in uh, Southern California. We're here in the Cessna A2A 182. We're wearing the head cam today. Uh, the first time I did the head cam videos, I got some positive feedback that people might want to see more of them, and uh, but perhaps with less head movement. So uh, I'm going to try to do that today. We're going to be doing the first of the new communication and airspace training flights from Pilot Edge, the CAT-01 flight, which is a flight from an untowered airport to an untowered airport. And in this case, we're going from Oceano County, which is L-52, to New uh, Kiama, which is L-88, 47 nautical miles, and uh, we're going to be flying at 7,500 feet. Uh, I'm going to try to record all of these training flights if I can do it. This first one's pretty straightforward. We just make CTAF calls. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. We just make the CTAF calls as we go along. And uh, that means we'll call our positions and um, make sure anybody else that's around knows we're coming. So uh, we should be logged into Pilot Edge. So I'm going to go through the checklist. Uh, I had some feedback that people wanted to see the engine start up. So I'll go ahead and do that. And we'll hope that uh, things get going here in the A2A 182. So first, mixer full rich. Make sure our parking brakes are on. They are. We will uh, turn on our batteries, alternator, turn on our beacon light, fuel pump, prime the pump for a few seconds. I can see the fuel pump is on is there. Our fuel is to both. We can switch tanks. Or both. Throttle in, motor to start, there we go. Okay, let's put our taxi lights on just so people can see us. It's morning here in Southern California, I thought it'd be fun to do a morning flight. <coughs> Turn on the avionics. And we can see here on the chart that the CTAP frequency, common traffic advisory frequency for Oceano is 122.7. So we will switch to that. And we might as well be ready with the backup, which is our frequency for new Kiyama, which is 122.9, which I have here. On COM2, I like to monitor the guard frequency. That's also the frequency we'll go to if we have a problem. And I have this here. TAS, system Switch test okay. One. And with that, we can monitor both. Fuel pump off. Now, flaps are up. Trim wheel should be set. Now, this trim wheel has been causing the airplane to crash. So, I'm not sure if I want to try it or not. Um, but if uh, it crashes, then I'll reboot, and we'll pick up the video here in a second. Now it seems to be alive and working. Good. So our trim is set. Trim will help the airplane stay stable on takeoff and uh, at altitude. The sun's starting to come up. So we will uh <coughs> now uh, make sure there's nobody else around. for traffic. We have plenty of bogies in the area on Pilot Edge, but none near us. So we're good. So, uh, we'll see if we can get a weather report. The closest barometric pressure is 29.87. Oceano is at about 14 feet altitude. That seems to be working, so that looks good. Winds are generally calm. So we'll depart going out on runway 29. So now we will uh, take off our parking brakes and uh, start our taxi. Sort of a nice view of the sun coming up there over the mountains. Looks good.
Okay, so we're coming up to our uh, run-up spot. And here we would uh, run the engine up to 2,000 RPM. Got good uh, fuel flow. We'll check the magnetos, turning off the right or the left. We're looking for a small decrease in RPM. Same with the left. That's good. We've got good engine temperature, car heat, or the uh, heat is good. Fuel's full. Good pressure for oil pressure and temperature. Vacuum pressure is good. Amperage is good. We'll throttle the prop once, or we'll cycle the prop once. Okay, that's good. Now we'll make sure that we are squawking VFR in our transponder. We are. <coughs> then we make our first CTAF call. Oceana traffic, Skyline 15, Julia Golf, departing runway 29. We're going to be making downwind departure to the east, Oceana. Okay. Doesn't look like anybody's coming. We've got some traffic way up there above us. Here we go. Speed's alive. Seventy knots. And we're good. Now, not for air traffic control purposes, but just for flying purposes, we want to uh, fly out in the pattern. So we'll fly this departure leg here until we get to about 800 feet. Then we'll turn crosswind and call crosswind. How about here? Oceana traffic, Skyline 15, Gilly Golf is on the crosswind for a downwind departure to the east of Oceana. Golf is on the downwind for a departure to the east ocean. And that's really the last call we need to make here for uh, the Oceana pattern. We will continue to climb to uh, our cruise altitude, which is going to be 7,500 on this flight, into the California sun. So now that we're in climb, I might back off the mixture when we get up to about 3,000 feet. The haze is rendering really well, as you can see. Looks great this morning. Down there's our field. See there? heading once we're out of the pattern, which will be really about now, we can consider ourselves out of the pattern because we're even with the end of the runway. If I go direct Oceana just to get a heading, 
for direct to uh, New Kiama. I want to be flying a heading of about uh, 91. So we can set our heading bug to 91. And now we can make that turn. And be on our way. Right into the rising sun. One of the things that you're responsible for when you are uh, on the common traffic advisory frequencies is your own separation for aircraft. So I'm watching the traffic on the GPS here pretty closely. There are a few bogeys in the area. We've got one ahead of us, but it's 5,400 feet above us. We've got two off to the right. One's 1,000 feet below us, one's 500 feet below us. I can't see them. And they're not on my frequency because they're not talking to me. So. I won't worry too much about them, but you want to keep your head out on a swivel all the time uh, as you are flying without flight following or air traffic control. Boy, that looks great, doesn't it? Look at the haze. That is just fantastic rendering for the morning. Okay, our best ride to climb is about 88 knots. We're right about there. We're on our heading. On our heading. Keep an eye out for traffic. I'm not really using ForeFlight to navigate. I'm just sort of trying to fly the heading. But one thing we could do with all this haze if we were worried about visibility is ForeFlight subscription has the synthetic view. So we can actually see here what's going on ahead of us. And we can see anything that's a threat from a mountain perspective in red. So you can see the synthetic view there. Now, I wouldn't want to fly the whole way by that, but it's viable, at least to know if you've got collision avoidance problems. So, pretty cool. Um, I would have never paid for that uh, if I wasn't flying in real world uh, as part of my flight training, but in the simulator, it's pretty sweet how it works. So, you can see it out there. We are in our cruise, right about 7,500 feet. And uh, we're coming over the mountains now. We're about halfway to New Kiama. So I'm going to switch over to its frequency, which is uh, 122.9, just to be listening. And I'm going to try to get the closest possible barometric pressure for it on the radar, on the radar, or on the uh, fourth flight, and it's telling me Santa Inez is 2299.89. So that's a guess, but we'll go with it rather than nothing. Now, I'm checking here. I've got the CTAF frequency in, 122.9, and the field altitude is 2200 feet. So, and it's a short strip, 3900 feet. So I'm going to be presuming that the pattern altitude is about 3,200 feet, and it is. So we're at 7.5, so now we're over these mountains. We need to start descending because the airport's going to be down here. When we're about 10 miles out, guessing on the chart, we'll make our position call. But I can start descending, and if we're going to be coming in on runway, I usually set my course indicator to that. It helps me visualize which way the runway is going to be pointing. It's going to be pointing that way from where we are. And the winds, at least nearby, are uh, calm, calm, summit 90, calm, hard to know. So I'm going to favor 2.8. This is the runway that we'll use. So I've started my descent now that I'm over the mountains. We'll be descending down to 3,200 feet and we're going to start looking for the airport. And using my distance uh, measure here on four flight, when we're about 10 miles out, we'll make our first position call. We'll tell them that we're 10 miles west of the field and that we're going to be making a uh, 45 degree entry for left downwind into 2.8. And I'm looking for traffic, and I'm not seeing any. Nice rendition of the mountains there with the morning shadows on them. 
Very cool. Okay, we're about 10 miles out from the field now, and we've got some traffic just came off the field. Looks like they are in the pattern. And we'll make a position call here now. New Calma traffic, Skyline 15 Julie Gulf is 10 miles west of the field, 5,500, descending to pattern altitude. We'll be making 45 degree entry for left downwind at 28, New Calma. Okay, so now Hoover is out there, knows. I don't hear anybody else on the radio, so that's probably a drone in Pilot Edge. But we're going to treat it like it's a real airplane. And we're going to keep making our descent here down to 3,200 feet. I know the field's going to be over here somewhere. We're going to come in on a 45 degree angle for the right or for the left downwind. Continue our descent. It's a good time for a descent checklist. Fuel selector is to both. Mixture rich. Power we like, carburetor heat we don't have, fuel injected airplane. Okay, we're down to 4,500 feet. We're almost down to our pattern altitude. We're going to start looking for the airfield, which I don't quite see yet. We are getting close to landing. We're getting down to our pattern altitude. We are flying parallel to the airstrip. I think that's the field right over there. So we will. Uh, Get pretty close here to making our call. In fact, I'll probably do that now. New Calma traffic, Skyline 15, Julia Gulf is 3,500. We'll be making 45 degree entry here for uh, left downwind into 28, New Calma. We had a little bit of a delay in the sim there. Okay, I can see the field. This is not a bad place for the 45 degree entry. No nearby traffic. That's good. Let's double check and make sure that we're still on pilot edge. We are. So how do you know if you're making 45 degrees? Your heading indicator here can show you. About a 45 degree angle there will be right. We're pretty close. Okay, 3,200 feet. Time to level off. about like this distance, so. New Kiama traffic, Skyline 15 Julia Golf is entering left downwind for 2-8, New Kiama. Might be a little far out, we're, all, we're okay. You want to be a little bit closer to the airplane, in case, airport, in case you need to quickly uh, lose an, in, an engine and land. So we're at 3,200 feet. We're flying opposite heading for our runway. We're not descending at all. Okay, final t checklist. Gas is to full, undercarriage is fixed. Mixture rich, prop, full prop. Throttle is needed. Landing lights on, fuel pump on. Okay. All right, so when we are beam the numbers here, we will cut our throttle and put on our flaps. About now. So we'll take our th throttle back to we're about 1,600 RPMs or so. First notch of flaps. Begin letting the airplane to slow and descend. We're going too slow, too soon. There we go. We're going to fly till the runway is about 45 degrees behind us, then we'll call our base leg. Probably about here. New Kiama traffic, Skyline 15 Julie Golf is turning left base for 28 New Kiama. Okay, make our turn. 
keep descending. Watching our airspeed, we're at about 80, that's okay. Take a look at the airport. Okay, we can go straight to final. New Kiama traffic, Skyline 15 Jerling Golf is turning final for 2A. New Kiama. We overshot the runway just a little bit, but we'll get it lined up here. 500. That's right where it'll be, full flaps. Intercept the runway. Cool, we can see our shadow there from the sun. That's cool. Okay. done with the radios yet. <coughs> we need to call when we are um, off the strip. Then we'll clean up the airplane at that point. Hold short line here to cross, so we will just consider this it. New Kiama traffic, Skyline 15 Julie Golf is clear of 28. New Kiama. That's our final call to tell them that we're off. Turn off fuel pump, turn off the landing lights, turn off the strobes. Beacon's still on. Put the flaps. Go find a place to park. So I'll need to submit that now uh, to the Pilot Edge uh, system since this was a flight without uh, any air traffic control contact. For the first Cat 1 rating, you need to submit it electronically, which I'll do. And I hope it was useful. So standard position reports. You tell people when you're going. You tell people when you're turning in your pattern. You tell people the intention of your departure leg. You let people know when you're about 10 miles out of the field. Uh, and then you let them know your intention for entering the pattern. And then you make your calls as you go through the pattern. Pretty straightforward. And I uh, hope it was useful to you. So good luck. The next thing we'll do will be the CAT 2 rating, which I think is a flight from here to San Luis Obispo, which would be a non-towered to a towered flight. And I may just go do that next as soon as the, there's somebody on uh, the network manning their traffic control. So thanks for tuning in to glide on the glide slope. Uh, if you have questions about the simulator, uh, almost any question you have is uh, <coughs> answered at www.onthegliteslope.net. That would include uh, configuration settings, uh, the specs for the PC, and the rest. <coughs> Pardon me, I got a little cold. And, uh, and I, of course, respond to questions as quickly as I can in the comments. So if you have them, go ahead and offer them, and I'll respond as quickly as I can. All right, we've got to turn this baby off. We have a checklist for that, too. Shut down, parking brake set. Radios and equipment off. There go the avionics. Throttle all the way back to 1,000 RPM, which we have. Mixture at idle cut off.
Master switch is off, magneto's off, and uh, we'd turn off the lights and go have breakfast. Thanks for watching on the Glide Slope.